Alright guys, what is going on? So in today's video, we're going to be kicking off the long-awaited Florida series. So in today's video, the first one, we are going to be playing at Walt Disney World's Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. Honestly, this round was just, it was so nice. The golf club, the golf course itself, the conditions were just amazing. There's a lot of bunkers and a lot of water, as you can see on the screen right now. And obviously, I managed to find myself in them, so it was pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, it was, you know, it's hard, but it was a really nice change of pace playing, you know, just a different style of golf course. And obviously, like I said, the conditions are amazing. Uh, this golf course itself is actually located quite close to Disney Springs. I mean, it's literally next door to Disney Springs and only, you know, like five minutes from the parks as well. So if you want to play at Disney World, I highly recommend this one. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first hole at Lake Buena Vista Golf Course is what's well, around a 500 yard par five. So starting things off with a driver from the white tees, which they weren't the very back tees, but they were like, you know, the second from the back. So I think to be honest, realist realistically, that was probably the best decision in terms of, you know, what tees to play off. Cause I'm not a super, you know, I'm not a massive hitter, but I hit a decent way. So I think in terms of like the golf course, how it should be played. Yeah, the white tees for me were the best decision. So start things off with a great drive down the right hand side of the fairway. Uh, it was 220 to the flag. But with all that trouble, especially down the left hand side, you'll see so much water in a second down the left. And the bunk was really protecting the flag. I just didn't have anywhere to aim for if I was going for the green. So yeah, it was a really sensible choice. Just laying up, now got, I mean, still a tricky yard as you know, like 80 yards in, especially with this really protected like flag. I hit like a knockdown, just half pitching wedge, but I just played this one way too long, especially with how firm the greens were, were playing. Because I, I landed this quite close to the flag, I've got to be honest, but it just ran on. I was kind of lucky to, you know, catch a piece of the green. So now I've got a really sort of tricky downhill, uh, right to left putt. And I I didn't have any practice, I've got to be honest, I'll, I'll put that out there. I didn't have any practice before this on the putting green, so... Just judging it by looks, I was really scared of the downhill, slippery greens. Like, I'm playing in Florida, obviously, so the greens were running pretty well. So I was kind of scared about the downhill putt to start off with. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's a three putt to start things off. Not a great putt in display, to say the least. But we move on to the second hole, par three, 150 yards. I'm using a nine iron, which is usually the right yardage, but I just didn't, I just didn't catch it at all. So... It caught the face of this front bunker. So now I've got quite a tricky, well, I mean, it wasn't too tricky, but still my bunker game isn't the best. So for me, all bunker shots are kind of tricky. So yeah, I was kind of scared, especially with this bunker at the back of the green. But I, to be honest, I played this one pretty nicely. It landed right next to the flag. It didn't have much zip on it, I've got to be honest, but you know, I've got an opportunity to make the pass. So for me, I'll definitely take those all day. And yeah, again, judging from the first hole, this is kind of a, a similar one to my second part on the first, but I learned my lesson and I was so close to making that. Honestly, that was a really good putt, just the slightest of tappings now for the bogey, which is kind of disappointing, but still it was a, it was a much better putt and display than the first hole, that's for sure. Uh, moving on to the third hole, a 400 yard par four. I didn't actually catch this drive amazingly well. I actually caught it a little bit fat, like I caught the ground. But because the conditions are so good, uh, the ball was running so nicely. And yeah, it ran on like to like 260 yards. So only a short 99, but again, I didn't qu quite catch it. I I've got to be honest, the irons I'm using, I like I rented them, I'm using a really kind of hard, um, hard hit set of irons that I think they're pretty much blades from what I remember. And yeah, I was finding it difficult. You'll see in this video, my iron play weren't the best. And I you know I probably wasn't playing that well on the day, but also it didn't help that the irons were really hard. <sighs> now that was disappointing. You know, easy par really. Two putt par. And then I just lost concentration I did that. But it is what it is. We move on to the fourth hole. A really nice, just a really nice looking hole, honestly. So, so picturesque. And yeah, probably my worst drive of the day, just a duck hook. I was really fortunate. I thought this was, well, one, I was lucky to clear the water, but two, I managed to just, it just 
bounced on through the trees and I've only got like a pitching wedge in now. So again, just a quite an easy shot, but I pulled my, my iron and it overdrew. Bounced just, it was on the, on the green, but then just caught the bunker, it bounced on into the bunker. So now this is a very tricky bunker shot. Got no green to work with, a downhill lie. And there wasn't much sand in it because it rained the night before too. So honestly, that was probably the best I could do. Um, I still had a putt for it, but again, just like a 25 foot putt for the par. Um, to be honest, it was actually good, but you know, I mean, I didn't really judge the the line that well. I didn't read it too great, but in terms of distance, only a two foot putt for the bogey. So, I mean, we're playing bogey golf at the minute, but honestly, on these on these like golf courses, I'd probably take that all day. I'd obviously like to be playing better, obviously, but still, bogey golf there's nothing to be, you know, there's nothing to look down on uh, for 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 my game anyway at the moment. Uh, starting off, this fourth, uh, sorry, par four, fifth hole, great drive with my hybrid, just kind of laying up. Um, just wanted to play it a little bit safer. Seven iron though, I just, again, struggling to hit it. I was catching them off the heel and I just, yeah, off the heel, it just faded off into the right hand bunker. Uh, I'm, play, I'm, I'm playing in a lot of bunkers, it's got to be said. I think it's my like fourth bunker I found already. But I, I actually played this one so nicely. I just judged this one really well. Like hit the spot right where I intended. And I've got like the four foot putt for the par. So can I get the first, my first par of the day? Unfortunately, I'm standing right in the way of the hole, but I'm, I'm glad to say we actually made the par. So that was a nice one. A really nice up and down from the from the bunker. That was, yeah, that was, that was a nice one to take, especially after all those bogeys. A nice change of pace. So again, really feeling this hybrid. That was, this was actually the only club out of the bag I was really confident in hitting. So I kind of used use this one quite a lot, especially on the shorter par fours. So again, left myself the perfect position with the pitching wedge, only 130 yards in. And this was just, they, they, that, that was my swing. I'm not, I'm not gonna blame the golf clubs of, at all for that. That was just such a bad pull. Um, yeah, just all arms. Pulled it right into a really tricky position. So. I thought I was playing this one really well. I was like, right, aim just over kind of the sprinkler head, just before in the fringe, just before the green. And look at that, look at that for a bounce. When I hit that, I was like, that was actually perfect. And it, ca it caught the sprinkler head and it did that. And now we've got a really tricky downhill putt. You can't quite tell on camera, but yeah, this is very much downhill. And I thought I played this one nicely, but it just kept running and running. So now I've still got like five foot for the bogey. And I was kind of rushing at this point because there was a large group behind me. Not for, like it wasn't my fault. Like I wasn't playing slow. There was a four ball ahead that were very much taking their time. So, but even though I felt like I was holding people up, I actually wasn't. It was just, I don't like people being behind me. Um, so I was kind of rushing a little bit. This next hole, I should have used a gap wedge it was just because of the water and the bunkers i wanted to play it a little bit safe but i hit this one really well and i just about stayed on well the green this is like a really like an island par three and i just about stayed on well the back of the green there was water just behind where i am so again rushing a little bit it's got to be said i should have played this one and you know read it a little bit better and unfortunately yeah i was short with the chip on and that that putt was never going in. So that was trickling away from me. And this is like, that's what I mean. I was rushing and I just did not read that one. I, I paid no respect at all to that putt. And I just, yeah, that, that looked like a really casual putt, but I didn't kind of intend to, well, I didn't want to actually put that one from so far away. Uh, this next hole, another par five, 520 or so yards. Um, I caught this one a little bit low off the toe, but it ended up working a lot like really nicely, like, like a really nice drive, right into the heart of the fairway. I was still at like 240, 250 into the green. So on another day, maybe when I come here again, I probably would have gone for that with a three wood, but I wanted to play it a bit safe, especially with, you know, the bunkers protecting the front of the green and there's trouble, there's a lot of trees over the back. So left myself around 100 yards in with a gap wedge. Unfortunately, I mean, I played this one really nicely. This landed right next to the flag, but um, yeah, very firm condition. So ended up being a little bit further past 
than what I wanted, but I've still got a put at it, so I'll I'll take it. I ended up going for this, playing it a little bit aggressively, just scraped by, but now I've still got work to do for the par. So yeah, still six foot for the par. But you know what? Feeling confident, feeling aggressive, and I roll this one in for the par. I will take that one. So I'm playing it a little bit better. Um, can I can I get the par on this last hole of the front nine? So using the hybrid, like I said, I was feeling confident with it. But unfortunately, there was people waiting on the tee with me, and I mean, it doesn't. You can't quite see on on the tracer, but I caught this one really heavy. I ended up go, only going like 170 or so yards. So now I've got a really tricky shot, 225 over the tree, but this is best shot of the day by far. Just right on line. This actually pitched right next to the flag from what I saw. But I, I actually ended up hitting this so well, it, it, was, it, it ran on quite a bit. So played a really nice chip on there. Um, it rolled on a little bit further than what I wanted, but I've got the uphill put for the par. Uh, you know, still nine or ten foot for the par but a really good putt and i actually roll it in so a really nice finish so you know seven over through the front nine playing off 12 i'm thinking like one or two over on a course like this i will take that all day no really blow up holes that's kind of unlucky on i think it was the sixth hole where i hit that sprinkler head otherwise i'd have liked to have got a bogey at worst maybe even a par if i pitched on nicely but that being said really great front nine it's a really lovely course lake buena vista i'd really recommend it if you're in florida or definitely if you're going to walt disney world anytime soon but with that being said that's pretty much the video hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all next time